Hello my friends, very interesting stuff that happened today in Bahmut. Well, we have this lake over here, very close to the city. And the small river goes all across this lake. And this lake has some sort of a dam. And you see that Russia is very close to this river and maybe partially already crossed it. And what Ukrainian forces did today, they just blown up the dam over here and that increased the water flow to this river, cutting Russians away from the Bahmut city. That was the only way to stop their offensive action. You can see they're very close to the city. I'm very surprised that they were able to get to the north part of the Bahmut city that fast. And today they were just cut away by the water. So if you go to the Google Maps, so this is the Bahmut city. And here you can see this lake and the stream that goes between those two villages. I think it goes through this place and now there is the big river out there that helps actually Ukrainian forces to fight against Russians but still this is not a big lake out there and it doesn't create the threat for locals who stayed who decided to stay in uh, the north suburbs of the Bakhmut city but there's the other information that this dam over here could be blown up by Ukrainian forces and this lake is much bigger and it would create the wider river that will actually divide Russians into two parts. So here is the other lake and if you destroy the dam this river will just flow and will cut Russians into two groups the one that crossed this river and the one that remained over there and basically this group will be out of any supplies. Yeah I'm a little bit wrong over here because they may provide supplies from this side as well. And this is what happened to that river, basically the huge stream. So I guess maybe the bigger lake was uh, expanded to the river. And definitely it's the new obstacle for the Russian forces out there. But Ukrainian media say that this lake was released, the smaller one that cut Russians away from Yahidne and not letting them into the Bakhmut. But the Bakhmut itself and Russian advancement, let's go to the timeline, it was uh, yesterday and it is today so they moved just a little over here they went close to this river that probably expanded and now much wider and now to move further they need to get the engineering equipment to make some sort of the pontoon bridges over there and they simply cannot stay there forever because we have our artillery that will aim Russians in Yahidna area. Also we have the movement of the Russian forces north from Donetsk they enter Krasnohorivka village over here so it was uh, before the day before sorry and now it's like that so they entered this village so far it's under Ukrainian control but they're very close to our positions and basically they were able to capture some of the fields out there we call it the Wuhledar black hole where Russian forces disappear somehow you can see our artillery jab out there and I'm not sure whether it was filmed before or not but those are the Russians trying to reach Wulidar again and they were under attack again and again you can see their result. Something interesting about the Russian Defense Minister Shoigu and his family activity in the social media that drive the Russians mad. Well, here is his daughter Xenia and she is married on this guy whose name is Oleksiy. So he is the son-in-law of Shoigu and he put the like to the opposition resource of the Russian Federation and immediately got criticized by Russians. And this is the screen of some sort of the Russian patriot who sent some of the messages to Alexei, who is the son-in-law of Shoigu, telling him that he is wrong. Yeah, I can't say the bad words on YouTube. It's the new policy of this resource. And I wonder how can I translate all of this stuff in that case? Well, here Alexei replied with, I don't care about your Z opinion. Go to the front line and don't comment. He replied in a way showing that Z opinion is nothing, it's for losers. And again, we have some of the replies from the Patriot that I cannot translate. <laughs> so now he lives in Dubai with the daughter of Shoigu and he is against of what is happening and what is done basically, but his father-in-law. This is the command center in Bahmut and this is the General Sirsky who is the commander of the eastern flank of the front lines and he visited the command center so here we have some of the photos 
analysis of the situation lifetime we have many drones that help with the air surveillance and i don't know the location of this and i wouldn't say if i knew iran military officials say that they developed some sort of the long haul rocket that has the range up to 1650 kilometers which is 1000 stated miles yeah in that case they may reach israel and saudi arabia easily but still it's early to say whether this rocket is capable or not because the tests are continued but if you put here the information that we got the last week about the iran nuclear program that now they have uranium 84 and very close to uranium 90 that can be used in nuclear weapons so this information is quite concerning before we get the reports that china may send some of the kamikaze drones to the russian federation but now china still thinks to do it so china evades sending drones and ammunition to russia for ukrainian war recently china gave some sort of the peace deal to this war but definitely it's not what we want we need to free our territory and not to trade it for the peace deals because after all russia may start the war again and this is the new iranian drone called shahid 149 gaza and it's very similar to american drones i would say the design of it where they have all the technologies to produce those because they are under the sanctions and definitely they create lots of the threats in the region but still they are capable to produce some units even russia can't we'll have 14 of the mi-8 helicopters from croatia they probably have the other types western made helicopters well those are very capable helicopters and you know i was flying around the globe and in every country i was able to find the mi-8 helicopter in some sort of the airfield so this is very popular and reliable model obviously it's not the attack helicopter it's the transport one but it may evacuate uh, the wounded soldiers it may supply some goods so multi-purpose versatile vehicle i would like to fly the one maybe i'm gonna try to fly helicopters someday in my life according to the wall street journal information schultz and micron proposed zelensky the peace agreements with the russian federation just recently then zelensky attended paris nevertheless we have great support from germany and france helping ukrainian refugees and obviously military help but some politicians still want to return the old times but our main ally, the United States of America, and also Great Britain, say that Ukraine should decide where to stop. And Zelensky said that we'll stop, then we free all of our territory. And President of France Macron is going to China in April. And obviously they will discuss the situation in Ukraine. Also Belarusian leader Lukashenko is going to China at the end of this month. The new sanctions from the United States that will touch everyone in Russia basically because they halt supplement to russia and belarusia the smartphones that cost more than 300 dollars plus air conditioning systems uh, that are more expensive than 750 dollars uh, microwaves washing machines more expensive than 300 and other equipment and russia cannot produce that stuff they don't have their own smartphone or something which is capable let's say but china may supply their goods to russia but still if it's for example iphone which was designed and developed by the united states company that just has the factory in china they still cannot supply the goods to russian federation so welcome good old soviet times then the russians will search some of the goods on a black market my friends now press the like to this video and as always if you want to support my channel and the job that i do there are some links in the video description just below for you to do so thank you so much for your kind support i wish you all a peaceful sky wherever you are and have a great time